Hey everyone, welcome back. I hope you're all doing really well. So this reading is going to be for those of you involved in divine soulmate connections, could be twin soul, twin flame connections, where the masculine is involved in a karmic relationship. It definitely could also be the case that the feminine is involved in a karmic relationship or situation. All right, but that's just not what the focus is going to be for this particular reading. However, sometimes the energies that do come through for the masculine um, concerning their karmic situation can actually be mirroring what you might be going through in your own karmic situation as well, okay? So, and that's because we all have both feminine and masculine energies. So just take the messages as they resonate for you. So yeah, let's get into this. And keep in mind it is general, so it's not going to be everybody's situation. If you want a personal reading, all that information is in the description box. And yeah, I think that's all I have to say. Um, I think there was one more thing. It's not coming to me though. We'll see. <clears throat> so we're going to start by looking at the masculine's energy. So let's see what is going on with the masculine. And we have the temple path. For some reason I knew, I just knew that this card was going to pop out. I don't know why. Um, and this does talk about the masculines being on the right path and actually following their soul. And I know that that just sounds like such a typical thing to say, um, but I've really been getting that lately. And it could even be related to the solar eclipse that we're having in connection to the new moon in Sagittarius. All right, that is coming up because that's going to actually represent a major closing out of a big cycle, right? I think it lasted almost two years, right? A cycle of um, eclipses. And this is representing the end of a cycle. So there are going to be some endings. And this is actually pushing people to get on the right path, not just the masculines, just overall. Um, let's get a couple more. Get a little more specific here for the masculines, please. All right, and we have number 22, which is actually called Plenty. And, okay, so this could be enough. And this is um, actually what I'm getting. It's like the masculine is feeling at the moment like they've had enough. Enough of this situation that they find themselves in. It's like, when is enough more than enough and this is where they're actually finding themselves at the moment let's get a couple more and then we'll get into the tarot Ooh. okay so we have destruction the answer is no and soulmate Okay, so yeah, definitely something is being destroyed here. They're saying no, okay? Um, in real, and there's the soulmate connection here showing up as well. <clears throat> and so it's interesting that we have the answer is no right between destruction and soulmate. This is actually giving me two messages here that are coming through. Um, number one, whatever it is that they've had enough of, which I feel is the karmic situation, obviously, um, that's being destroyed. That that's being done, they're saying no to that, all right? Because at the end here, we have the soulmate, right? It's like what they're moving towards, right? With that temple path, it's like starting off this combination with the temple path, finishing off with, with the soulmate. In between, we have this karmic situation where enough is enough, it's being destroyed, and someone is saying no to that, right? Which is the masculine. On the other hand, what I'm also getting here, the double message is that the masculine is saying no to this soul mate, the divine soulmate connection being destroyed. Like, I don't want to lose this. I don't want this to be done. I don't want this to be over. All right, so this is um, what is happening at the moment. So I do feel like for a lot of you, um, it could be that maybe you have walked away or to th there's just something that has happened where you're not in communication or maybe you are in communication but something is just different it's like like the connection is either it feels like it's falling apart or that there is some kind of an ending so this is causing the masculine to say no no i don't want this to be over Actually, I'm even getting that the masculine is feeling like I've had enough of all of this, of this whole situation, just everything, the way my life is right now. 
so let's see their energy specific to towards their karmic partner or situation. All right, karmic partner, it doesn't necessarily have to be a romantic relationship, although that's usually um, what I tap into, but it can definitely apply to any other type of a person or a situation, okay? It could be a relative, it could be work, it could be a friend, just another person overall, even an addiction, just anything. So let's see. So take the messages as they make sense. All right, we have the Four of Swords in reverse, the Hermit in reverse, and the King of Wands in reverse. All right, they're all in reverse. So the masculine towards their, this is just their general energy. They're feeling a bit restless. Um, I feel like there has been this period of time where the masculine was very withdrawn possibly from the karmic situation, just like um, either not really talking, being distant, that kind of a thing. It's like they're coming out of that. They're coming out of that and it's almost coming in like with this King of Wands being in reverse, I'm getting this as frustration, anger, um, intensely wanting to take control. We'll see. I might clarify some of these. Let's see what's going on in their headspace. The Nine of Wands, the Page of Cups in Reverse, and the Ace of Pentacles. All right, yeah, I see what's going on here. So yeah, they're feeling like there is no resolving um, something, all right, that's happening within this particular connection or situation. There's something here that they feel could just cannot be mended, something that cannot be healed. Um, they're seeing that this path, you know, of moving forward within this connection, all right, when they think of that, it just feels like it's just too difficult. It's just too difficult because the emotions are just not there. So this is something that they are very much aware of because it's in their headspace. Almost like they're resisting um, moving forward. And when I say resisting moving forward, because it's kind of like this is what a part of them is trying to do to move forward with this connection, right? To just endure it, go through with it, just, just, just do it, you know, this is where you've been, this is where, you know, things make sense for whatever reason. Um, and it's like, so there's that part of them pushing them to endure this, and then they're bringing like this resistance to it. And I feel like what's bringing resistance to it is actually their emotions. It's kind of like blocking out that, that path. Something is keeping this connection from being able to progress. I do feel like they're still very withdrawn with that hermit and the king of wands being in reverse, but they're withdrawn in a different way. It's like they're withdrawn emotionally, but there's this restlessness and there's this, there's like, like a aspect of them that's coming through towards the karmic situation where they're actually expressing some kind of frustration. It's like coming out of that hermit mode, like still keeping that distance, but also coming out and wanting to express something here that's not very positive. It's also a lack of passion. But let's just get one more row. And then we'll clarify and get more details. So what's going on? In their emotional space here. All right, and we have the Five of Swords in reverse, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Two of Wands. Well, you know, there's not much emotions. There's like no like emotional cards that are showing up here um, other than the Page of Cups, which is in reverse. It's interesting because I'm getting that the masculine is actually feeling deceived in some way by the by the karmic 
person or situation. It's like emotionally they're feeling like this is something that they invested in. But still waiting for those results. And instead of getting those results, it's like something, something has happened where they feel like they've been deceived. And it could be anything. It could be that, it, you know, if it's a... If it's a partnership, it could be that, you know, the karmic was unfaithful, or it could be that the karmic just didn't live up to certain promises. Or it could even be that the masculine just had different expectations of, the, of this person, right? Not necessarily this person's fault. But things are at a standstill here. Things are at a standstill, and the masculine's kind of just standing there, like, looking at this. Still there, definitely. Um, something's keeping them tied there at the moment, just at the moment, because I don't, I don't know, for this particular group, I mean, we have that destruction there, it's like enough is enough, something's about to blow up. Um, let's actually clarify before, before we look at the masculine's energy towards the feminine. And yeah, I know, I keep moving these cards over because I thought I was about to use the space there, but, but I'm not, so... All right, let's see. Let's clarify that top row. All right, we have the Ten of Swords in reverse, the Six of Wands in reverse, and the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, something's really off with their energy here, actually. Um, again, it, it's coming in like they're feeling like, like they, either they've been betrayed and it's almost like they're feeling a bit, um, how do I say this? Like sheepish, like they're annoyed that they, that that they've been betrayed in this way, that they trusted in something that has now been proven to be something completely different. And this is why now they're getting restless and, and it's like something is building up that they want to say, something is building up that they want to express to the karmic partner. Um, it did not, it did not have the results that they wanted. It's like they were given something that was, that turned out to be a betrayal. At least in their minds, in their in their perception of it. So they feel like they've been defeated. Let's see the second part. Yeah, look at that. The three of swords. The Ace of Pentacles showing up again, and the Eight of Wands. Yeah, the masculine is really wanting to express this and talk about it with the karmic partner, or express it in some way if it's a situation, all right? Again, just apply the messages as they as they make sense. Um, yeah, this hurt them, actually. This hurt them. For some of them, it probably just hurt their ego. All right, I'm getting that also with that Six of Wands in reverse. Um, for others of them, it did hurt them emotionally as well because this was somebody that, that they trusted. This was somebody that they were expecting something different from. And this is why actually they're bringing, it's like they're resisting um, from putting in that effort to move forward. But it's definitely something that they want to talk about. They don't, their emotions don't want to move forward, right? We have the Ace of Pentacles, which showed up here. Um, now clarifying that Page of Cups in reverse. But they're definitely wanting to communicate about this and for a lot of them they are. I feel like they are communicating this. And I do feel like um, this will definitely also be related to that to that solar eclipse because it does um, from what I understand, it is also going to bring out truths. It's going to bring out revelations as well as wanting to speak one's own truth. And so anything that has been 
repressed and held in and bottled up is now going to be coming up and it's showing through over here. All right, let's see this bottom row. All right, Ace of Swords, the Knight of Pentacles, and the Seven of Pentacles now showing up in reverse. Yeah, there was, see, there something has come to light here. Something has been revealed. A truth has been let out. They have been, <laughs> the masculines have found out a truth. Um, and it could just be, like I said, a matter of um, perception or perspective. And they're just now noticing something that may have been deceitful or even manipulative all along. They just were not aware of it. And I feel like something happened um, for a lot of them. Something happened recently where it was just like this click that happened in their mind so that they were able to see this. And so, yeah, like, again, feeling like they've invested in this, though things were moving, you know, they were taking certain steps in this connection, they were trusting in it, and then it didn't yield the results. And I feel like for a lot of them, that's why they're still there. Number one, it could be that there's a shock <laughs> um, about whatever it is that they have discovered. And number two, it's because for some of them, all right, this isn't going to be for all of them, for some of them, they may have invested a lot in this particular situation or connection, whether that be just energy, whether that be emotionally, whether that be um, practically or financially. And oftentimes it's difficult to actually move away from something that you have invested in. And that's why they're in this, they're feeling this two of wands, like, all right, okay, what do I do? But that's going to be temporary. All right, so now I do need to move these over. And let's see the masculine's energy towards their feminine. All right, so we got four. All right, we have the Hierophant, Justice, <laughs> the Unknown card and the five of pentacles. Whoa, okay, so, big energies here, big energies. Obviously, there's a lot that they don't know. Um, I feel like for a lot of them, th this, this connection with their feminine at the moment, um, they don't really know what's going on with you, they don't know what you are up to, they don't know what you are doing, and this is something that is actually making them feel um, like this five of pentacles, like they're just kind of like left out, not knowing what's going on and pretty much feeling, feeling that either feeling abandoned for some of them, possibly for some of them rejection, depending on what may have happened in your situation. Regardless, they're feeling alone. They're missing their feminine at the moment. Okay. Definitely, um, with the hierophant and justice, those are some big energies. I feel like this is like a spiritual, um, I don't want to say awakening. That's not, that's not it. It's more of like this spiritual, like seeing of what exactly it is that feels right to them. What is it that is just? What is it that could make them not feel so alone? Why are they feeling this loneliness? And it's because that spiritual connection, they only have that with their feminine. They can only get that with their feminine. This feeling of justice, like things are right, things are where they need to be, right? They get that with their feminine. When it comes to, um, you know, other things in their life that may be preventing them from this. Obviously, you know, just as the feminine is complete without the masculine, the masculine is also complete without the feminine. So I'm not saying that, I'm not saying that they need their feminine in order to be complete, but we'll see. I will clarify. 
So let's see what's going on in your head, please. Yeah, okay, their headspace is a mess. We have the Hermit, the Queen of Swords, and the Two of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, there's, I feel like for this particular group, might not be for all of you, but I'm getting that for most of you that this might resonate for. Um, there's not much communication at the moment. If there is, it's distant, it's withdrawn, it's a little bit cold, it's um, just the basics. Because in their headspace, that's... Yeah. It's coming, it's coming across as they're being, they're thinking about the distance that is present at the moment between them and their feminine. And this is um, a little bit difficult for them to cope with at the moment because they're feeling that absence of you. Seeing this very clearly though, I'm actually very surprised at how clearly it seems like the masculine is thinking right now. Like all of these things, Pretty much that I've been talking about, it's all in their awareness. I'm not seeing any denial here, or I'm not even seeing anything really being repressed or suppressed. It's like having a lot of clarity. Let's see what's going on with them emotionally. And concerning their feminine, we have the Eight of Pentacles. The Magician in Reverse, and the Nine of Pentacles in Reverse. Okay, so definitely um, for some of them I feel like their solar plexus chakra might be a little bit um, unbalanced. Because they're feeling like this is what they want to work towards. It's like they have the Seven of Pentacles twice for the karmic situation, and they have the Eight of Pentacles for you. Um, which is really wanting to put in that effort. And even though they have been investing more in the karmic partner, it's like, well, you're getting the eight of pentacles. Them feeling like this is what they want to work towards. However, they're not feeling very confident that they can, or they're not feeling very confident that, that they will actually be able to manifest this. And for some of them, of course, that could even be related to, you know, whatever's going on in their other situation. It could be related to, you know, whether how easily they can actually leave the karmic situation in order to get to you. But two things here. They're feeling, they're feeling um, like they don't deserve you at the moment. And they're also feeling like they cannot be apart from you. They're feeling both of those things. So let's, let's clarify. Let's see that top row. The hot infant, justice, and the five of pentacles. And the five of swords, the queen of cups, and the ten of pentacles. Yeah, they're feeling like they don't deserve you because they they have deceived this connection. They have deceived this connection with you. Um, they have deceived their own their own emotions. They have deceived the love here. And there is this wanting to make it right. There is this wanting to stand up for themselves. To take charge here. It's like they know that what would bring things into balance, what would get them out of this energy of feeling that five of pentacles would be this commitment with you. But basically they're feeling alone, they're feeling um, undeserving, almost like blaming themselves, feeling like almost putting them in a victim mentality, I wanna say because they feel like they've messed up so bad. 
they've deceived the love and this this commitment, even if you were never really like in a um, formal commitment, but it's the spiritual con commitment, right? It's that spiritual connection that they feel like they have deceived the love of that and of what could have been that Ten of Pentacles. So in their general energy, though, they do want to make this right with justice being here. They're just not feeling confident at the moment. Uh, let's see the second row. Yeah. Strength in reverse. Let's get one more. Okay, two more. The moon and the ace of wands. Yeah, so, like I said, they're not feeling very confident at the moment. And it's almost like this, um, the break between the two of you is making them feel weak. Like they don't even know if they have the strength to endure this, okay? Especially for those of you who were involved more closely or more intimately. There's, there's a fear here. There's a fear of the, of the distance. And for each of you, you know, it's going to be different how long you've been in, you know, if this is a separation or at a distance or whatever is happening between the two of you, there's a fear of it not being able to come back. And this is something that they're having um, a hard time handling or coping with. All right, let's see this bottom row. Page of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, so this is why this is the masculine holding back on communication or holding back um, from coming forward, although I do get that they are very interested in what is happening with you, but they're holding back. They're not allowing that to show. Um, again, it's because they're not feeling confident. They're feeling like almost ashamed. Almost ashamed, but it's like they're working on it though. They're working on it. Okay, masculines. Again, all of this, it's actually, you know, it's really putting them on the, on the right path. I feel like they've actually been on the right path for a while now. Just some of these things that are happening, they're, they're playing out in a specific way for a reason. Like the masculine is really now seeing through this karmic situation. For example, right? At some point, you know, they're saying the answer is no. They're saying no to this. Enough is enough. And then once that happens, then it's movement towards their divine counterpart here. Where then their challenge will be to overcome their feelings of, of shame. But like I said, they are they are working on that. So let's see what is happening with the feminines. Just we'll just get a few cards. All right, we have community. So the feminines, yeah, I feel like if, if this reading is resonating for you, I feel like you're trying to expand your social network, possibly, or you're trying to really just focus on your friends, family, other things. We also have the number 18. I can't remember the name of this card, but it's basically the feminine running away from the situation with the masculine in some way. Um, it's not going to be for all of you, but I feel like for some of you, this is talking about you just moving away from the connection or at least trying to. You're trying to at least detach yourself from this situation 
by focusing more on your social activities or just on other things on other things around you. Let's just get a few more. Because I do feel like there's a message that wants to come through that's more specific for you. All right, we have received surrender and mask. You, there's a message you've received, um, not necessarily from your masculine. It could be from their higher self, um, but definitely not in the 3D. And what I'm getting here is, it's like you're you're being guided to not ignore that message. Surrender to whatever it is that you are feeling. All right, I feel like this mask card is actually representing you masking um, that message that you've been receiving or maybe just not really wanting to look at it because I mean and it could be anything maybe it's giving you a sense of hope and you just don't want to have hope because that scares you maybe it's telling you not to um, reach out to your masculine maybe it's telling you not to um, or to be careful you know with the people that you're hanging around with it could be anything but whatever it is you're being asked to surrender to that message that you have received. Hmm. Let's see if we get anything else here. We have the Four of Wands, the High Priestess in Reverse, and the World card. Okay, um, this is another specific message for some of you, okay? So, yeah, maybe for some of you, this, you know, these messages might not apply, but somebody definitely needs to hear this. Um, there are cycles that are coming to an end, all right? Both for the masculine and uh, also for the feminines could be completely different things. Um... Definitely, though, for the masculines, is what I'm getting. There's something here with this high priestess in reverse. Um, if and what I'm hearing is, don't intervene. Um, I feel like the whatever is happening between the masculine and their karmic partner or situation, there's some kind of a completion that is happening here. All right, the masculine is seeing this truth, some kind of a betrayal, deception, or just, and, and again, it might not even be the karmic person's fault. It could just be that the, ma the masculine was expecting something different, right? Um, whatever the case, though, that is happening for a reason. It's a temple path. There's divine intervention here, destruction. And I feel like what this is saying is, you know, they have also received their message. Don't do anything. Surrender. <laughs> Surrender. All right. Um, because if you, I'm not, I'm not telling you not to do anything. Don't talk to them. I'm not saying that. Okay. It's really going to depend on the particular situation, but just don't interfere more than what you absolutely feel guided to. Don't let ego get involved because it might disrupt this temple path. It might disrupt what, what is happening here, the path that they are on. That's what I'm getting. So yeah, take that as it resonates if it does. So that, I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs> Let's get a final oracle message to close out the reading. All right, and we have milk and honey. Yeah, so definitely things, th this is just that things are running smoothly. It might not feel like it at all. All right, but this is spirit telling you things are running smoothly in the way that they are meant to. Of course, the smoothly, right, <laughs> can also include all the bumps, all the frustrations, all the difficulties. But things are moving in the way that they need to, and you can also find that 
you know, like that sweet spot within your own self where you can also feel some kind of joy. Okay, we just had a whole bunch flying out. Um, I'm just going to keep the one that fell right here, which is TikTok. So yeah, like I said, divine timing is at play here, divine intervention, and really it's a matter of time before you're fully experiencing the smoothness, this milk and honey, just overall, all right, with your counterpart or without it, that's not even the point. It's a matter of time. Everything is a matter of time here. And like I said, um, something's happening here with the masculines. It's ticking. So, yeah, you don't need to do anything. Just surrender. <laughs> Received. <laughs> All right? It's like saying, stand back. Everything's cool. So, those were the messages for this week. I thank you guys so much for watching and much love.